Hi and welcome to this short tutorial. Today we are going to mount and balance a camera to the Newton head. So the first thing we want to do is to figure out where our CG point is. And you can do this by using one part of the top mount. And you put your camera package on the rod and you can figure out roughly where your balance is. So as you can see here, the balance is right here. I'm going to start by mounting the dovetail to the camera. And I make sure that the lens marking is in the right direction. And I want to make sure that the, the dovetail is close to uh, where the CG point is. So the midpoint on the dovetail should align with the CG point. So next step is to mount the camera onto the camera cradle. So first thing you want to do is release this clamp right here. And now you just slide in the camera like this until you hit the sprint right here. You just pull this lever up and it will click in place. So earlier the CG point is right here so we want to put we want to put our camera cradle as close as we can to that and then you tighten the clamp now we're going to mount the camera on to the newton head so make sure that uh, this part here is in the middle and also make sure that this adjustment knob is horizontal and you loosen this clamp here so it can slide. And it will be clicking in place. Tighten the clamp again. Before we start balancing the camera, make sure all necessary accessories are in place, such as cables, servo motors. And of course, don't forget your memory card. To enhance the overall stability and performance of the system, always use a top mount. Now we can start balancing the camera. We're going to begin with adjusting the height. And as you can see, the camera wants to fall over that way. So we want to push the whole package downwards. So first we release this clamp here. We also release tension to the top mount so it can move freely. And now I'm turning the adjustment knob here. It has a sign that says which way you should turn it in order to move it downwards and upwards. And we're gonna move it downwards. Tightening. A bit more. Yeah, that's, that's good. Let's continue and move on to the tilt balance. OK, 
can see that the camera is falling backwards, so it needs to move, we need to move it forward. So we loosen the tension in the top mount again, and we will release this big clamp down here. And to roughly change the balance, you pull this pin out here, and now we can push the camera package forward until it's clicking in the next track. And I will tighten this clamp again. And now it, you can see it's fairly close. It's falling a bit. And we'll move on to the fine tuning. Um, and the fine tuning for both tilt and for roll is done by this knob here. So by releasing this clamp here, the knob will push the whole package inside the tracks that's in the dovetail. So I'm turning it forward like this and it will go forward. Still moving backwards, so we need to push it even further forward. Tighten the clamp. Tighten your top mount. As you can see, we are in balance in both height and in tilt. Now it's time to move on to roll. Checking the roll balance, we can see that the camera is falling over to this side. So we want to push it inwards. So we begin with loosen the top mount. We will also lose these two knobs. And now we will use the same adjustment knob that we used for the tilt fine adjustment. Only now when we have this clamp here tightened and these two loosen, the camera will slide inwards and outwards. Then you can push your finger against the camera to see which way it's sliding. So right now it's sliding outwards and I want it to slide inwards. Make sure to tighten in between. Still needs to go a bit further. Yeah, that's it. Now that we are done with roll, we can move on to pan. But before we do that, we should make sure that all knobs are tightened. By leaning the Newton head towards you, you will see that the pan balance is off. So we need to push the camera package forward. Loosen this knob here and use the ad adjustment knob Checking again, still a bit off. That looks good, now we're done. Please make sure to check out our support page for more information and don't hesitate to contact us if you need any help. Thank you for watching.